Oh, welcome, Wolf of Wolfettes. So we are back with the brilliant Ghost of Tsushima on the PlayStation 4 Pro, and we are playing through this game on hard difficulty. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. And if not, feel free to drop me a comment below, and I will do my absolute best to put a smile on your face. Because I know a lot of people are going through a very rough time at the moment, thanks to COVID-19. You've got hundreds of thousands of people out of work, and that's just in the UK. You've got tons of people that have lost loved ones, whether it's friends, whether it's family, so they are feeling like utter rubbish at the moment. You've got people that are still in isolation and shielding and stuff. So if any of you have clicked on this video and you're going through a rough time at the moment and you're feeling lonely or feeling like you've got no one to talk to, or maybe you just want to get something off your chest and you want to talk to a stranger, because sometimes talking to a stranger can actually be useful. But yeah, feel free to drop me a comment below and I'm sure me and the rest of my wolf pack will do their best to cheer you up. And if you want to talk a bit more privately, I've got YouTube and Twitter, um, Facebook and Twitter, I should say. So feel free to message me there too, and I will do my best to respond to you as soon as possible. But yeah, what we're doing at the moment is we have headed up to the most northern region of Tsushima, and we've set up a base camp far away from everyone else. And we are going to be planning our attack on the Khan, who is over here in Azumi village. But before we do that, we need to get all of our allies together before we can start planning our attack. Now, at the moment, I've been exiled because obviously I wasn't playing very honourably and I went, I went against the samurai code. I was jailed and I was going to be judged by the shogun. But then Kenji helped me break out of jail and then I've headed north. So at the moment, I'm exiled. So we need to get all of our friends together, but they can't go through Castle Shimura because obviously... Lord Shimura will probably start asking all of my closest allies why the hell they're all trying to head north where I went. So we're trying to find a new way to get all of our friends into the northern region. So I think what we're doing at the moment is Yuna has headed down south and she snuck through Castle Shimura and she is going to meet up with all of my allies in Omi Village, which is my home village. And I have gone here to meet a bunch of like, I think bandits that were friends with Yuna and we're going to meet up with them, and they should help me, hopefully. And then we are going to attack a fort over here. Yuna and my allies are going to come from the south, and me and the uh, bandits are going to come from the north, and we're going to take over a, um, a, a um, what's it called, a fort, and then all of, our, all of our allies will be able to come north with me. So that's what we're doing at the moment in this game, and then once we've got all of our friends in the north, we will be able to carry on with Masako's storyline, avenging her family, We'll be able to help Sensei find Tomoe and all that good stuff. We can start finishing up some of the storylines. And obviously, we can go and fight and kill the Khan. Uh, also, Norio, we haven't done any of his storyline yet, but Norio does have a very good storyline. It's another one of those nine-part storylines. So maybe I'll go back and do his storyline, but I'm not too sure yet because this game is already very long as it is. There's also a couple of Eureka missions I should do as well because... Um, one of them unlocks the uh, hallucina hallucination uh, darts, which are very good for making the Mongols attack each other. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll go back and do some of the other missions. I do love this game and I do enjoy recording it, so I don't mind. But at the same time, I don't want the playthrough to be too, too long because I've got other games I want to do as well. <laughs> I probably shouldn't be following this fox, but we might as well. How many? Uh, I've already got all my charm slots, haven't I? Oh no, I still need to unlock one charm slot. Oh, we might as well follow this fox then. I thought we unlocked the uh, charm slot ages ago. Man, that is really stupid. I've been making Jin a lot more weaker. <laughs> God damn, sorry Jin. I thought I, um, I thought I unlocked that ages ago. Because once you've unlocked all of the charm slots, you can carry on finding these little like shrines. And instead of unlocking more charm slots, you unlock newer charms instead. And they are, some of them are very good. You are right, mate? How you doing, you little cutie? <laughs> Lovely. I've got some delicious icy water with me. I mean, the ice has already melted, so that's a bit disappointing, but it is still scorching hot in England. So, uh, yeah, if you're in, if you're watching this video and you live in England, go and get yourself an ice lolly or something, because it is deadly outside. It is deadly. I mean, I love the heat, but I'm starting to get annoyed with it now. <laughs> I was ripping up all the carpets in my house yesterday because new carpets are going to be laid over the next few weeks. And, oh, my God, was I sweating like a hooker in church. God damn. <laughs> Oh man, that is lovely jubbly. I also forgot to wear my uh, head wrap in the last four videos. 
Sorry about that, I completely forgot. It's because I was recording Destroy All Humans first, and then I switched over to this game, and I completely forgot to put my head wrap on. <laughs> oh, looks a bit weird seeing my forehead in my videos now. I actually like, I think I look pretty damn good in a headband, if I do say so myself. I mean, you guys and girls might completely disagree, but I think I look pretty cool in a headband. <laughs> oh, lovely. Right, now let's go and speak to these scats. Where are they? How far away are they? 150 meters. I'm still really, really annoyed that I lost Nobu. That's really annoyed me. I flipping love Nobu. I think what makes it worse is just because just shortly before you do the mission where you take over Castle Shimmera and you do all of that storyline, um, you have to do that mission with Tucker dying. And then after Tucker dies and you're at the grave, Jin is obviously sad. And then the horse comes over and comforts you. And it makes the bond between Jin and the horse look even more cute. And then shortly later, Sucker Punch became Naughty Dog and murdered my horse. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. I think I might, I, I think I might go and play like Skyrim. Because in Skyrim, if I remember correctly, I, I don't know if this is completely accurate or not, because uh, it's been a while since I played it. I think it's the same with Oblivion. It might be the same with Morrowind as well. But um, you can uh, unlock a horse called Nightmare, which is a black horse. And uh, you unlock it by finishing the uh, Dark Brotherhood missions, which are like the assassins. Oops. And uh, this horse does not die no matter what. So, um... I might go and play Oblivion or something just to play that game and have a horse that won't die. Can Nightmare die in Skyrim, like in Elder Scrolls? I can't remember. Takeshi's camp. Okay, we've definitely gone the right way. I was worrying if I was going the wrong way then, because uh, getting up that mountain was a bit of a pain in the butt. <laughs> but yeah, these are a bunch of bandits that used to work with Yuna, I think she said. I don't think she said they were her friends, but I think she said that they owed her or something, but, you know... If I tell people that we're going to kill the Khan, then I'm, I'm sure everybody would want to work with me. Plus, I'm also the ghost, and that's got a good reputation at the moment, ain't it? <laughs> Takeshi's Camp. Man, I still need to play Fall Guys on YouTube. I played the hell out of the beer. It's such a good game. I need to play on YouTube. Oh, there you are. Hang on a minute, Takeshi. Hang on a minute, mate. Our campfire, my lord. Oh. Oh, thank you, mate. I mean, I don't want to be at your campfire right now. I'm already sweating. <laughs> Are you Takeshi? You know my name? I'm Jin Sakai. Yuna sent me. She's alive? Where is she? The Mongols blocked the pass to Omi. I have to open the way, and I can't do it alone. Yuna told me you can help. <laughs> Sounds dangerous. I thought you were an expert hunter, leader of the best archers in the prefecture. Is that what Yuna told you? She thinks you care enough to fight. Is she wrong? About me? No. But my people need a reason to risk their lives. It's going to be a cold winter. Why spend it on a mountainside hunting squirrel when you can live in a warm fort? If we can stay till spring, we're in. You have a deal. This won't be like hunting wild boar. Come over here and you'll see. Okay. So, um, what, what fort are you talking about? Are you talking about, I mean, I mean, the place that we own is a temple. And it sure as hell isn't very warm up here. Because it's in the middle of the mountains and it's more further north. So it's probably more cold. Unless you're talking about... Oh, unless you're talking about the fort over here that we're about to take over. Oh, maybe they're talking about that. All right, that makes sense. We'll take over the fort, and then they can all live in it for like three months of winter. That's a fair deal. And also they can keep it safe, and that way we can go from north to south as much as we want. I don't know how long you stay exiled for, because I think once you've done a few missions, you can start travelling south again. Obviously you can't go to Castle Shimmera, but you can start travelling south again once you've opened up that pass. I think it's after this mission, maybe. So if you want to head back south and do other missions, once you're done with this mission, I think you, you can finally go south, because obviously there's like mythic towers and other storylines that you might want to do. So uh, yeah, I think after this mission, you can start going south again, but you cannot return to Castle Shimmera 
for obvious reasons. Mongol archers guard the gate. Patrols ride in and out all day. If we can get in from this side, Yuna and the rest of my friends will hit them from the south. Yuna will be there? All right. The fort was built around the cliffs. We can use them to get inside. Woodcutter camp. Supplied lumber to the fort. Haven't seen anyone there since the Mongols showed up. How good are you at climbing? Better than average. How good am I at climbing? Have you not seen my rope with a hook on the end? <laughs> I am amazing at climbing. Right, 880 meters away. I think this is gonna be another uh, section where we have to run a lot. Every time we reach a new area in this game, pretty much the same as any open world game, uh, we have to spend a bit of time traveling around before we can actually start fast traveling because there isn't any places we've been to to fast travel to. Yeah, because only villages there the fault is going to be here. So yeah, there's the fault. So once we've taken over that, everybody that wants to come up from the uh, southern region can just come up this way. And then they can all head up to my base camp up there. Right, lovely. All right, let's go and get this done then. Uh, at the moment, I'm using, I think it's a black pony and I think I named it Dave. So uh, at the moment, we've got a pony named Dave. Obviously, Dave ain't no Nobu, but you know, he does his job. He's still a beautiful pony and I still love him very much, but he ain't no Nobu. <laughs> Alright, that's cool. Him. Come on, Dave, where are you, mate? Oh, shit, flipping hell, mate. He's definitely a Dave, isn't he? He's a bit like me. Can't stop running. Oh, lovely. Can't tell you, Wolf Morphus. I've got too much energy. Way too much energy. It's annoying at times. It's so annoying. But one thing I have noticed, uh, I don't think I've ever spoke about this in, in my playthrough. And I'm also not too sure if you've ever seen it, because it might have just happened before in one of my videos, and maybe I didn't know this, but if you stay... Uh-oh. Hey, what the hell? It didn't even give me the ability to do a standoff. Oh, shit. I have to deal with these bloody archers now. You have to deal with the archers even more in this area, just because they constantly poison you. Fuck off, mate. Man, I love that flurry attack. It's amazing, isn't it? See a whole triangle and then boff, 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 boff. Lovely. Very nice. Where's that person? There he is. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, who are you looking at? Are you fo- Who are you focusing on? I don't know what Jin's looking at. <laughs> Maybe there was an enemy up there or something that was fleeing, I don't know. How are you doing, dear? <clears throat> oh, enemies nearby. <clears throat> God, I lost my voice a bit then. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. Bloody hell. Well, there ain't no enemies nearby. I, I ain't got time. I ain't got time. Sorry, love, but I tried to rescue you, but the game is telling me the enemies are nearby. <laughs> so, uh, sorry about that. Maybe I'll come back for you later. <laughs> Crazy deers. Deers have got no regard for traffic, have they? Especially in, uh, especially in England. Probably like in America too, but obviously, as you've all seen on my channel before when I was doing Wolf Quest, there is a massive amount of fallow deers in my area. Like, I mean a massive amount. There's got to be, at this point, at least 100,000 fallow deers spread out across the whole of this area. It's insane. But, um, they're constantly running across the roads and stuff in my area now. They're becoming a right pain in the butt. <laughs> There's so many signs that have been put up warning you about uh, watching out for the deers and that, because deer crossing and all that kind of stuff. God, deers. <laughs> it is good though. If you go out in my area, probably at like three o'clock in the morning, especially in the uh, in the um, springtime, there are so many fallow deers just walking around my area. It's flipping great. 
Makes you feel at one with nature. Also foxes too. A lot of foxes in my area. <laughs> I do like foxes. I need to do another wolf quest video for the foxes. I feel like this video is going to be 90% of me just travelling around. <laughs> Man, I really wish I was in this snowy area at the moment. I really wish I could just splat my face. I just could just face plant into the snow oh, right now. That would be lovely. Meet Takeshi's hunters at the lumber camp. Didn't he say to me, how good are you at climbing? Because I've not had to do no climbing so far, have I? Oh, there they are. Is that the climbing you were talking about? Oh, come on. <laughs> we made the climb in two hours. If we sit up here much longer, the Mongols are sure to see us. Back away from the edge. I'll be right up. <laughs> sure you will. How the hell did it take you hours to climb up that? Hours? I mean, I'm not no flipping mountaineer, but I reckon I could get up that in less than hours. I'm making maybe an hour at most. I'd have to figure out how I'm going to do it. That's some bullshit, isn't it? Oh, well, this is how you do it, boys. Oh, look. Yuna's got some interesting friends. Let's plan our tech. You can see inside from Oh, lovely. I don't think I've got any arrows, have I? Oh no, I do. Lovely. Every battle I've done over the last few videos, I've had no flipping arrows available. Just gonna see if I can change the weather quickly. Looks like I can. Lovely. There we go. A nice clear day for a battle. Lovely. It's good because I want to shoot a lot of them from up here. I mean, look. There's so many beautiful faces for me to shoot with my bow. I mean, look at that over there. Let's get me an explosive arrow. I've only got one, so we're going to have to make this one count. Archers on that ridge will have a good view of the courtyard. And plenty of targets. The bulk of our force should go there. I mean, I only see like two archers. I see a lot more people on the ground level. We'll get on that roof. Control the high ground. <laughs> you sound like Yuna. She was a good teacher. You men with me. Everyone else, get to the ridge. If the enemy sees me, take them down. Understood. Good luck. All right. Ready? Lovely jubbly. <laughs> Sorry about that, ponies. The good thing about fighting up here, it takes a while for them to be able to reach you. Just got to make sure I take down the archers a bit quicker. Because the archers are very, very annoying. Like, just in general, they're very annoying. But in this area, they're even worse just because you have to... Uh, you have to deal with the fact that they now poison you. Look at that. <laughs> oh shit, here they come. Here they come. Oh, look at that. If I could get my ghost stance ready, I can run in there in style. They're probably all low health now. Oh, what fucker just hit me? Oh, come on, who hit me? I didn't see anybody shooting at me. Oh, come on, I only needed to kill like two more for my ghost stance. Yeah, I'm going to have to go down now. Lovely. Well, we took a few down with that explosive arrow and we blew a few more up, so it weren't too bad. I think I can hear one of those, um, one of those, uh, bombs that they use that stun me. I think I can hear some of them. Don't know where they are, though. Lovely. Can't see shit. No, 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 I don't want to take damage. I 
think we only need to kill one more for Ghost Dance. Yeah, one more. Oh my god, that, that's two kill stills. <laughs> that was two kill stills. Does this count as a kill? Right, there we go. I'll save this for the next uh, the next section because I think we've killed all the enemies now. Yeah, regroup with the hunters. All right, we've killed everybody now. Then we just quickly loot these bodies and have a quick look inside these tents. I'm not sure what way we're going. Let's have a quick look in these tents though, just for some supplies and that. Have I got any technique points? I've got one. Uh, I want to get this ability right here. Throw one additional kunai, or whatever they're called. I call them ninja stars normally. Oh, look at this. Gonna be some delicious stuff in here. Look at that. Two black powder bombs. Five iron. Four leather. Four heavy arrows. Ten arrows. <laughs> Lovely. Got four explosive arrows. Jesus, that was the mother load in there, wasn't it? Gotta love explosive arrows in ya. Oh, there's a bear in there. Just quickly grab up all this stuff. Right. Oh, hang on one second. There we go. Right, you ready, mate? What sort of animals would do this? The Mongol kind. The woodcutters must have resisted them. Let's kill every bastard in this fort. Another patrol. We'll ambush them when they come through. Hide. You heard him. Move. Oh, lovely. Right, hang on a second. Let me get me all explosive arrows out. Get closer. Kill them all. I don't think it was me that killed those horses. I mean, it probably was, but I'm definitely not going to say it was me. <laughs> I think uh, I think the archers might have killed a lot of them. I might have wasted my uh, arrows then. I heard Lord Shimura. Oh look, they got roasted. They got sizzled. I'm sorry, ponies. Why aren't you leading then? Lord Shimura has his plan to fight the Mongols. I'm not lying. And I have mine. You're on your own. This fort isn't yours to give us. The Jito is at his castle. He'll have no need of this place until spring. We'll be gone before he shows up. I mean, I took over this fault anyway, so why the hell would it belong to Lord Shimura? <laughs> Actually, I'm not going to lie to him. I never lie in these video games because there always ends up being some consequences. Obviously, there's consequences from telling the truth as well, but I prefer those consequences. I don't like being known as a liar. Because I sure as hell ain't no liar. I think we're almost through this fort now. Investigate the fight at Toyotama Gate. Ah, oh, this is going to be where Yuna is, I think. That's got to be Yuna, ain't it? We have to get over there. Let's get a look at the bridge. Are we coming up here? All right then. I mean, depending on what you ask me, I'm definitely going to pick the honourable way. Because I think you have an option now of how you want to do this. The Mongols send multiple forces over there. This is our chance. If we charge across the bridge, we'll have to deal with that Huacha quickly. Could you sneak under the bridge with that hook of yours? Take the Huacha by surprise? Um. To be honest, mate, I'm just going to rush the fence. I could take that Huacha in about 10 seconds. It's not, it's not very hard to get to by the looks of it. I'll just shoot the dude in the head. <laughs> I could grapple onto the tree and swing across. There's a way up the cliff on the other side. If they spot yeah, we ain't, we ain't gonna do all that. Charge across or sneak over. Either way, it'll be risky. We'll follow your lead, Lord Sakai. Oh, I'm definitely gonna charge across, mate. Don't worry, I've got my ghost stance. Oh, you fucker! Who did that? 
Look at you, you cheeky bastard. He ruined my ghost stance. <laughs> Every fucking time. Oh man, I hate it when they do that, when you've got a nice ghost stance ready and they ruin it. That's gotta be all of them, ain't it? I think there's only like one left. Oh shit! Do you like that, mate? That feel good? No, no, not again. What are you doing, Jin? Get off! Who's shooting at me? God damn it. Hey, look. I got to help my friends at the gate. Hey, look, it's the, yeah, it's the people of Yarikawa, the ones we rescued. That's their banner, ain't it? Oh, I love it. See, the ghost has got a lot of people that love him. Even if Lord Shimura and the uh, Honourable Samurais don't like me, there's a lot of people that love me. The riff raff of the riff raff of society, the best people. Hey, look, it's Kenji. How you doing, mate? Are you actually fighting, or are you just running around being crazy? It looks like it's hiding, doesn't it? <laughs> There's Masako. Who else are we? Who else is here? Oh, look, there's Norio. Lovely. Ain't done any of his missions yet, though. Poor guy. There's Yuna. The fort is ours, my lord. Is everyone all right? Never better. All things considered. Good to see you, Lord Sakai. Uh, um, is it this cold everywhere up here? You'll get used to it. Take any supplies we need and prepare to ride for Jogoku. So, you and Takeshi... That was my old life. He and his people are more than hunters, aren't they? Depends on how you look at it. I told them they can stay and hold the pass for us. But I don't want bandits making trouble for innocent people fleeing the Mongols. He knows what I'd do to him if they tried. I think he's been looking forward to seeing you. He's seen me. We can go now. Let's get everyone to Jokoku. We'll plan our final attack from there. It's time for the Khan to die. Hey, will you pack it in, Dave? Why'd you keep pushing me, mate? <laughs> Your legend grows. Ah, oh, we're gonna get more resolve now and more health. You do get another resolve point when you level up, don't you? I can't remember. Maybe you just get a health upgrade. I can't remember. <laughs> oh, lovely. Oh, Dave keeps pushing me. Oh, look. 
That's the uh, chime I was talking about a few videos back. When you throw a chime and the Mongols pick it up to investigate it, it sprays like poison in their face and kills them. It's pretty good if you're playing more stealthily, but I don't play stealthy. But yeah, thanks for watching Wolf Wolf Vets. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Sorry for so much talking at the start of this video, but you know, I like to let people know that I'm there for them if they need me and stuff like that, you know? So uh, apologies about that. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, share, and join the pack today.